you want to do comedy that will relate to these people, you have to be like them. A Yoruba man will say, Egba <laughs> Mio. That is their expression. Like in my dialect in Kwale, you know, if you want to be funny or you want to insult a child and you want to do, you do things like um, Anuboko. Do you understand? <laughs> that is strong. <laughs> that is strong, exactly. <laughs> uh, but that, and that means bush meat. Oh, really? Other people that we hear will laugh and say they are calling this boy bush meat. But if you don't do that in our Dallas yeah. comedy, I want to understand what you're doing because that is not us. Oh, you're not relating right? to me. So definitely you have to be loud. And also, let me add this. Okay. The truth is this. A, a Yoruba man will say, <laughs> that is their expression. Yeah. That is the way they, you that's know, cool, yeah. Yeah, they, that's the way they are. So if you don't tend to give him that, mm -hmm. it doesn't relate to his experience. It doesn't relate yeah. to him. Yeah. You cannot get across. So for you to be able to sell to that man, you have to have that expression yeah. coming yeah. natural. Oh, yes. yes so now Africans are used to expression. We are, we are expressive. Mm -hmm. You know, you just see me do my hand like this, you yeah. see me shout, you see. That is our nature. So for a comedian of sorts to get across, you just have to imbibe that. So when you say we shout a lot, yes, we go. We we, yeah, we do it. And we do it intentionally. It's, it's, it's dicey. Mm. It's dicey because we have actors that are naturally talented to do comedy. Okay. And you have actors who have worked their way. Oui. They worked hard to get they there. Continued practicing. Mm -hmm. They have done it over the years. And I, I could, I could. Yes, we are talking about um, okay. Fuke. We also, if you look at Ramsino as well, mm -hmm. you see he's also a serious actor. actor. Yes. But when you see him pull off comedy, he does, he does it, it effortlessly. Well. Yes. Yes, that's true. You understand? Now, people like this worked extra mile. They went extra mile to get their art together to be able to pull off that. That's comedy. But there are people who are naturally born. Like a Saka <laughs> does not need you to give him a script to make you laugh. Yes. He yes. just needs to do his head like this and you start laughing. Yes. Those are the ones naturally, you know, who has the disposition yes. to. But then there are people who have also trained. Mm -hmm. They know this is what it takes to you know, make the you timing. Like, the, the, the timing, the it's Just a technical thing for them. They, so they know where, when, and where to apply right. it to make mm -hmm. you laugh. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, you can say um, it comes natural. Mm -hmm. It could come natural for some people, but for some people, it's also a purposeful First act. Mm. If you are an entertainer and you don't, don't talk, talk, then what do you have? That is our <laughs> instrument. That's what we have. Talk, talk, talk. 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 <laughs> God has given it to us, so we we'll use it very well. We have to make use of it. Yeah. <laughs> Viewers at home. It's been fun in the studio talking about Funke Akidili with my wonderful guest. Please, I want to say thank you again thank to you. Ifoma and Francis, uh, Francis yes, that's for me. coming out. Thank you for having us. <laughs> thank you, thank very you very much. much. Thank Viewers you. at home, thank you for watching us. We are nothing without you. Stay inspired, like I always say, stay inspired. It's been fun all the way. Bye for now. We'll see you next time. Thank you.